program called Cops, Coppers actually, he's on channel 4, then you've got a camera crew, em embedded journalist, yeah, following uh, Nottingham Armed Response Route Unit round, cool. Oh, that, I, I don't like watching these programs, it just winds me up, like, I'm actually banged. I go around mates' houses and they start watching it, I, like, they, they turn it off, because I just start ranting. Oh, they can't do that, oh, f you, you, well, you can, you can imagine, anyway. So, uh, I was watching this program, and like, it, it's really interesting to watch, because you've got uh, these four people, four or five people, one's a bird, all wandering around with tasers strapped to them, glocks, weapons systems, they call them. It's a weapon system, it's not a machine gun, it's a weapon system. And uh, they kept on getting calls. Oh, hello, uh, I just seen a geezer uh, walking down the street and uh, he had a gun. Oh, yeah, sound. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we'll be sending a unit out now to, to check out the situation. See him, oh, 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 get in the fucking truck. They jump in the truck, they fucking zoom in along. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, they pull up and there's this guy. Uh, I think he was, he was not English. And uh, he's walking along. He's got two kebabs in his hand, it looks like, man. They, they fucking pull up in front of him, like, Ooh, put your hands up. He just, straight away, he just dropped, dropped, fucking shat himself, like, oh, fuck. Put his hand up. One saying, keep your hands up. One saying, put your hands behind your back. One, keep your hands up, hands behind your back. Hey, keep your hands up, hands behind your back. Make your fucking mind up. You know what I mean? So he's like, oh, uh, and they end up talking to him. And he's like this, look, I, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with uh, the police or anything, but I find this a bit intimidating. And they're pointing guns right at his face, man, yeah, while, while they're going through his pockets, yeah? And, and it turns out that, oh, alright, mistaken identity, sorry, yeah? Then there's another one, they go out, oh, somebody said that you went into your house with a gun, yeah? So they fucking, they come in, they're searching the guy's house, they go into his kid's bedroom with guns, yeah? They go into his kid's bedroom, oh, fucking, uh, looked around, they search the place, like, they've arrest taken him outside in cuffs, yeah? And they, they, then they fucking, uh, oh, sorry, oh, we didn't find anything, uh, have a good night, don't, don't have nightmares, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they're, then they're back, back at base and like they're, they're, they're doing uh, face to camera, like, what is it called, talking heads, yeah? And like this, the, the, the guy who's making the film was like, uh, to this one guy who likes his, we who likes his we weapon systems, I love my weapon systems, yeah? He's like, uh, do you think you're scary? And the, this copper, he's like, huh? <laughs> No, no, why, what, no, no, I'm not scary. Now you gotta remember, these guys have got fucking, they're dressed like paramilitary, yeah? They've got fucking bulletproof, stab-proof, fucking, uh, serious fucking weapon systems, all weapon systems, yeah? they got them, like, fucking pointing at people, yeah? Fuck, hello, mate, hello. I'm not scary, am I? I'm not gonna scare you. What, what, are you, what are you scared of? I'm here to protect you. Now fucking get your fucking hands up. Yeah? Or I'm going to protect you to fuck, motherfucker. Yeah? No, I'm not scary. Uh, I asked all of them, do, do you think you, you come across as scary? And all of them, no, no, no. No, I'm not scary. Do you think I'm scary? And the, the, the guy behind the camera is like that. Yeah, well, you got tasers, man. you you got a baton. You know what I mean? He's like, oh yeah, but they're, they're only tools for the trade. Tools for the trade? He didn't say them words, but it's, I'm generalising, I'm just putting it into my own language, I'm redefining the sentences. So uh, they fucking, uh, then it cuts to the bird, and she's like, no, I don't think we're scary, but we are assaulting people. Now that's, that's, that's what, 
what you need to watch, you need to hear her admit that she's going out in public and assaulting people. She said we're pointing weapons at them, we're causing alarm and distress. Admission of guilt. She just said that on Channel 4, primetime fucking TV, yeah, I'm paid to assault people, yeah? I swore an oath to protect. I swore an oath to assault anybody because of a fucking phone call. No evidence, nothing, man, but we're going to pull up, we're going to take a gun out, and we're going to point it at your face, man, yeah? Now, they, they, they pulled about six people, yeah? And there was only one that was guilty, and it was a geezer with Nick to car, yeah? And he's, and he's with this fucking, uh, with this pregnant bird, yeah? And they're talking about it afterwards, laughing like, "Oh yeah, he got he got the geezer, but I had I had there was a pregnant female, female. She's a fucking woman. She's not livestock. We ain't livestock. We're men. We're women. We're boys. We're girls. Yeah, male. Oh, I got a, I got a female chicken. Yeah, I got a female cow, cattle, female. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're livestock, mate. Yeah." You know what I mean? Why, why do you need to define me as a male and a female? Yeah? It doesn't fucking compute. Oh, so I had to, yeah, I had to arrest the pregnant female and she wasn't happy. No, you didn't fucking have to arrest her. Yeah? You even said it was obvious she was nothing to do with it. Oh, it was obvious she was nothing to do with it, but you still arrested her. Yeah? You bang out of order, mate. Yeah? Well, I'm paying you to assault pregnant women, yeah? Oh, she's got, well, fucking she freaked out, like, she was, like, really fucking angry, yeah? They pulled one guy who was, who was, who was, who was a known drug dealer or something, he's got loads of previous, they're reading it out as they're driving along, which is against the fucking Data Protection Act, yeah? Reading out all his previous, yeah? Oh, yeah, we're going to have to pull him. And the bird gets pulled, like a bird in the pack who's actually driving it. They're like, what's your name? She was good, she was a good girl, man. So I'm not saying now to you, I'm not saying now. Fucking search the car, I'm not saying anything. They eventually got her name and details. But you don't have to give them, yeah? Am I obliged to answer that question? Am I obliged to give you these details? Oh, I can't. They'll take me, take me to the cells. I'm not fucking... Ah, oh, here's a good pointer I was given the other day. Well, by uh, uh, XHA. Um, Hell's Angel like biker, really sound fella like, you know what I mean? Uh, but he was like, if you get arrested, ask for the duty solicitor, yeah, say nothing till you got the duty solicitor. As soon as the duty solicitor turns up, say, I want to make a statement, yeah? Now this, I, I don't know if I'd do this, but for, for those of you who, who might need a bit of help, and, and, and you might get a good duty solicitor. <laughs> yeah, but you might. Uh, but all you want to do is the duty solicitor doesn't have to say anything, but he's going to be your legal witness. Yeah? So you're like, I want to make a statement. I want to make a statement now. Yeah? So they might faff around, but you get to make a statement. Yeah? And this is the statement. This is the only statement I am willing to, I'm going to make. Anything further from anything that uh, any statement that I may make further from this very statement is going to be under duress. I have nothing to say. That's it. They'll put you back in the cell, but you got to make it. I mean, the way he said it. Any any statement I make after this statement will have been taken under protest and duress. Yeah? So they put you in the cells, they can bang you up for fucking hours, whatever, but they can't interview you, well, they, they'll try and interview you, but you've already made, made a legal statement, yeah, in front of a legal witness, saying that anything that they ask you after you've already been in there and done your statement is under protest and duress. So they won't be able to, any, any, any interview after that, yeah, will be inadmissible, yeah? I, I was in the cells a few years ago, and I, I, I was still fucking practicing, and my emotions are still really in control of my, my, myself, like, yeah. But uh, I, I did the interview, I took the, oh, I proper wound up the copper in there, like, yeah. Like, but that, that's a different story, which I might talk about one day, yeah. But at the end of the interview, when they take your tape out, yeah, they get you, they seal it, and they get you to sign it, yeah. 
So I signed mine. Yeah, just with my straw man name, like sign that. But before that, I put under protest and duress. Yeah, and I put that on on uh, both tapes because you got to sign both. Yeah, my copy and your copy. That's what I say. Oh, here's your copy, which you can ask for now or ask for later. Yeah, always take the copy now. Yeah, say I want the copy now. Give it here, mine. Yeah, but when it came to the court case, yeah, the CPS said, ah. Oh, Dorset Police, or Bournemouth Police, or wherever it was, do not wish to, uh, the prosecution do not went, wish to enter the taped, uh, record, taped interviews into evidence. Yeah? It wasn't a case of that they didn't want to, it was a case that they fucking couldn't. I still got stitched. But, it, it was fun, knowing that I, I, I did that just by writing, under protest and duress. Yeah? There you go. But, yeah, I mean, that, that coppers thing, it just really, really just... They, these people, they, they, they think they're doing the world a service. So it's like, uh, all of them were asked, have, have, you, have you had to deal with any shooting? Have you shot at anybody? Have you had that many? And they're like, no, no, no. Then why, why the fuck are you there then? You know what I mean? You're obviously not needed. You're just there to cow people, to cow the rest of this fucking country into thinking that... Your gang is the biggest gang, and if you and your gang has the right to fucking carry arms and point them at innocent members of the public on the say so of some anonymous fucking phone call, yeah? You know what I mean? It's just. It's sickening, yeah? To see them, to see them promoting this in, in, on, on the television as well. I mean, I hate watching these programmes. I don't usually watch them. It's like the customs programmes. Oh, that winds me up. What about our right to travel? This is my planet. I, we're not, I'm not English. I'm not, I'm not Scottish. I'm not African. I, I'm, I'm a fucking earthling man, yeah? Like, just because this bit of ground I'm standing on, yeah, happens to be here, doesn't mean I don't have the right to go and stand on any other fucking piece of ground on this planet, yeah? Oh, but you need a book. You need a book. What, what, what do I need a book? Oh, well, you need a book that says you're allowed to. Huh? Fucking hell, man. When I was a kid, yeah, I was, like, I was always like, time for bed. You can't do this, you can't do that. Stop it. It's, no, no, you're too young. You're too this, you're too young to do that, you're too young to do that. And I was like, I can't wait until I grow up, man, yeah? Because then nobody's going to be able to tell me, you can't. Yeah? I mean, it wasn't like I was planning, like, when I was a kid, right, when I'm a kid I'm going to be a burglar, I'm going to fucking cause loads of harm and loss. No, I just wanted to, like, fucking grow up and be able to do all the stuff that adults say to kids that they couldn't do. Oh, you can't do that, you can't get... You know what I mean? Yeah? And it turns out that we're still being treated like we're fucking infants by the people who claim that we're paying for them to look after us. Hey? It's fucking mad, mate.